Now, uh, before they conquered any country or before they attacked any country, it was customary to write a letter to the ruler of that country asking them to submit, advising them to submit, and offering them protection and uh, liberty of property and liberty of religion uh, within the world of Islam if they would submit. If not, there would be war. Now, um, this uh, custom is very, very old. It just didn't happen with the Cossacks. It happened in 1453 when the Turks attacked Constantinople and conquered it, and it became Istanbul. They sent a letter first to the Byzantine emperor asking him to submit. They did the same thing in Vienna in uh, 1683. The, the sultan wrote, or the sultan or his grand vizier, I don't recall which, wrote to the emperor in, in Vienna saying, submit and you'll get protection. If you don't, means war. So this was a kind of like part of the rules of war for the Islamic world. Now, um, this goes back very, very far. It goes right back to the Prophet Muhammad, who supposedly wrote to the emperor of Byzantium, the Shah of Iran, and the ruler of Ethiopia, doing the same thing and advising them to submit to the, to the law of Islam. Now, um, few people seem to know it, realize it, but in um, the late 1990s, 1998 to be exact, Osama bin Laden uh, wrote to um, the Arabic newspaper in London, England, the same type of letter saying, the West has done such terrible things in the Middle East. We, uh, we invite you to accept the law, the law of Islam. If you don't, we'll attack you. And uh, this was uh, generally ignored by the, by the public. But sure enough, on September 11th, uh, 2001, the attacks came. And they came in New York and Washington, and we all saw them on television. So there's a link between the, the Zaporozhian Cossacks writing their letter to the Sultan, defying him, and the attacks on New York and Washington in 2001. So that came to me as a bit of a surprise.